All right, in this video, I'll show you a nifty Vim plugin, um, which is Float Term. All of you know about it, right? Okay, fine. So, but this video is for those who don't know about it. So I'm going to show you a very rudimentary stuff on it okay and uh, i'll show you something if you like it go ahead and experiment with it i'll give you the pointer where you can find all this stuff okay so this is a tiny demonstration which might not contain a lot of stuff okay so um i hope you are going to pay attention for a few minutes okay so without further ado uh, let me get into I've already opened uh, Vim and uh, say I'm, 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 I'm doing something here uh, so all of a sudden I, I think though there is a there is a something else I need to do on the terminal uh, you know it can be done in several other ways there are plethora of plugins available Plus, the Vib has got a built in term also. So it's not a big deal. Uh, okay, so it's not a big deal. So, but this, why this particular plugin is interest me, it'll, it'll give you a, some sort of window manager kind of uh, uh, sense or that you can bring it up, dismiss at your will. So it is very convenient. So without further, for say for I have opened a file. Say, think about this. This app just open a file. Um, so all of a sudden, I require a terminal. Then all I have to do, I have bounded the floating term in Vim with leader f. So if I press leader f, it brings me up a terminal. Okay. And uh, so once I have done and all this stuff and all these things, so I can simply exit and it will not go right. Just press again. Leader F. Sorry. Leader FT. It will go away. I'll show you the bindings I have. Leader FT means float toggle okay leader fn if i open too many float terminal like this see one it might run i'm just giving a glimpse as you could have done much better with that but i'm showing this with the rudimentary stuff just to give you the sense what could be done with it say here and if i again open another term Okay, and if I write something here, and if I if I open another term like leader f, okay, every time I press leader f, it will bring term. Look at look at the status of the floating term. It says three out of three. That means this is the third term. Okay, so if I do. If I do this kind of stuff, say all of a sudden you decide you need to go back to the first floating term, what you have opened, all you have to do, uh, leader F B. Sorry, it opens up a terminal. Uh, leader F B. Leader F B. Go back. I'm going by leader F B. See, I'm on the first one. If I want to go to the next one leader fn leader fn leader fn see i can cycle through the floating terminal with the help of key binding previous and next previous and next right so for dismissing if you just do exit here and just uh, 
go to the next one see you cannot and see that fourth floating terminal is gone all you have to do exit and then leader fp go back to the previous one see two out of two the third floating terminal is gone like what exit then leader fp see i'm on the first one all three other floating terminal of which i have open has got okay so here also if you can do ft this floating terminal will go away you can bring it up by pressing leader ft to bring back the terminal right or leader fp okay so it is very convenient to uh, get this kind of stuff right so for this i have made some uh, key bindings in my vmrc okay so let me show you that um, this is my this is my vmrc see these are the variable i have defined in my vmrc okay and you can see so all i have to do leader f to bring up the floating terminal leader d to toggle it go to the previous go to the next to kill the terminal just fk leader fk simple then this is the way because I use plugin as bundle as my plugin manager, I mentioned it like that way, okay? Like everyone does, no, nothing big deal. Simple, these two entries, these things should, this key bindings I have made, you can change according to your need, okay? So it will be, it will be useful to you. Where do you find this plugin? You can go here, if I search, I'm searching float term, okay, and if I select the first one, see, this is the stuff, there are plethora of option, okay. There are plethora of option this provide. I haven't try out all of them. I have just bounded what I needed for my activity. That's what I shown to you. Now it is your turn to go ahead and find out something which will be explicitly useful to you. So you can adapt it and put it put something in your vmrc to get things going for you this is a fine plugin this is fine i mean that the concept is good as i said to you early very beginning of the video that it does provide some sort of window manager kind of stuff because the kind of window manager i am sitting on i could have achieved it in several other way but it is nice to have this kind of stuff if you do not sit on window manager and if you do not have the facility to get those things uh, bring up when you require most then this plugin will come very handy to you there are plethora of options mentioned clearly in that page you can go and find out if something you really need to adapt from here I'm certain that not all of the things needed by all the people but majority of the stuff might be required for the most of the people who who is dis, who is going to decide to give it a shot or use it for long term basis okay so going through it and 
read through it find out what what is your requirement is which is which is very important my requirements are very minuscule because as i said i do very minimal work and my works are very much predictable and i don't do too a big or very varied kind of stuff every single day okay so most of the days the 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 kind of task the kind of job i do day to day basis is very much predicted very much limited so i cut my clothes according to my size as simple as that in your case it would be different but the point is that this plugin provide a certain facility which can be tapped when the underlying environment is not providing you that facility and this facility having a terminal pop up whenever you want or wherever you want so it's it's a damn good thing okay so go ahead and try it go ahead and try it if you find it useful it will be good for you i'm just bring it up to your notice just your notice okay so i know a lot of people they are using it they know it but as i said again i'm repeating myself again just to make things clear to everyone that this might be helpful to somebody who is not aware of it okay so i i try to bring these things to their notice okay and i showed you a very minuscule demonstration which is absolutely my my requirement your requirement might be vast that's why i'm suggesting you to put some effort to go through their their site to find out more okay so i hope this will be useful to some people okay thanks for watching